So, tonight ang lulutuin natin is Chinese pork ribs. So, this is what you're gonna be needing. Half a kilo of pork spare ribs, ginger, garlic, green onions, tausi or fermented black bean, or salted black bean. You will find this in any Asian grocery supermarket if you are not from Asia. For the seasonings, these are the things that you're gonna need. Soy sauce. Um, Chinese wine and a dash of sesame oil and preferably white pepper but I do not have white pepper so I'm using black pepper and I will show you how to do it okay let's get started I'm going to pound our garlic and ginger until you achieve a paste uh, consistency so I will show you later so this is what you want to achieve in your garlic paste. If you can um, do it finer than that, that's that's okay. But I just don't want it to be any, um, you know, finer than this. That should be fine. Okay, so what you're going to do, you want to wash your uh, towelsy with water. You can run it in your tap if you want. Just remove the excess um, excess salt because this is overpower overpowering the saltiness now. So you want to wash away that excess salt, and then you will put it in your together with the rest of your marinade. Now, so we are gonna add our seasonings. Okay, so this is our marinade. I I will put all the um, measurements down in the description box, so so you don't forget your pork with the marinade. Just make sure your hands are clean. So I wash my hands several times before. Look. Just make sure it's well coated. Use your hands and get dirty. So what I did, um, I transferred it in. Uh, transferred it in a bowl like this. Yeah, it should uh, fit right all in. And what you want to do is you after 15 minutes. You want to put it in your steamer okay so if you do not have a steamer like this if you have like a big pot you can put like um, a pot holder like this put it in a big pot put some water inside put this inside you can put this uh, bowl right on top of it and then cover your pot. So the idea is to steam it. That's how you're going to cook it. Five minutes. We'll cover this and wait 45 minutes. And I'll show you the final product later. Okay, so halfway through the cooking time, I made sure that the ones that are in the middle get move to the side because the steam doesn't get there so I just make sure that everything gets cooked equally so I just move the ones in the middle on the side and vice versa when you see something like this it's almost falling off the bone and that's when you know it's almost cooked but I want a little bit longer so this has been in for like 45 minutes already but I want to cook it a little bit longer because I see some red spots there. So I also want to garnish it now. So I'm going to put the green onion. Okay. And then just cover it again. 